today, NATO is filling an important intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capability gap. Up till now, only one ally had this cutting edge capability. Now all 29 allies are working together to operate the drones, to analyze the data they provide and to fuse this um, with information provided from other sources, giving us a fuller picture to inform our decisions and to support our forces. Our shared security depends on the best equipment and the latest technologies on capable individuals committed to common principles acting together. Before you, you see a combination of all that. It is a visible demonstration that NATO is adaptable, innovative and united alliance. So congratulations to all of you. We provide the capability to NATO uh, that is really protecting our soldiers uh, and that is where the data is available to the entire NATO command chain. And the data is available to the nations who ultimately pay for this. So it's threefold. NATO was able to manage a program. We are providing data to NATO and we are providing data to the nations. The, the AGS system has five autonomous airplanes, sometimes known as, as drones, uh, but it's much more than that. It's all of the, the, the information processing, uh, all of the ground uh, elements that gather information from the aircraft and then turn it into uh, data that uh, NATO decision makers can make really good decisions based on. The, the system itself uh, with the aircraft uh, is able to extend for 30 hours in, in any direction, uh, flying at very high altitudes, uh, collecting radar data uh, of uh, information for moving vehicles on the ground, ships at sea, uh, and be able to relay, relay that uh, via satellite communications back to the ground station here for where it's processing and analyzed by the nations to be able to make the, the decisions. The ability to take pictures and then in near real time, seconds, minutes, provide that to the decision makers in, in, in Latvia, in NATO, uh, seconds after the images are taken is, is something that was unheard of 10 years ago um, and now only one nation had that capability five years ago and now all 29 nations of NATO have it as of today. Mm -hmm. So I can't underestimate the, the importance of that system. So uh, one of our biggest missions will be humanitarian disaster relief and the ability to respond to a, to a humanitarian crisis. Because if you're managing that crisis, you need information too, right? Where are the people at? Where's the aid need to go? Which buildings are damaged? Where's the earthquakes? Where's the avalanche? The, that's what imagery does for you.